Hey guys, it's Lee, and today I'm going to show you how I made these really pretty refrigerator magnets using alcohol inks and these little stones that I got at the Dollar Tree. So to make these, the first thing you're going to need are these glass gems. I got these, like I said, at the Dollar Tree, but they probably have them in other stores. I'll check Amazon, and if they have them, I will leave a link in the description box below for you. I got these self-adhesive magnets at Walmart. Um, even though they're self-adhesive, I think I'm going to glue them on. They're not sticking that well. So I'm gonna take the magnets off the green ones and hot glue them on. In that case, you probably just can buy regular button magnets. You don't need the self-adhesive. I have various colors of alcohol inks. I have more, and mine are old. And as you can see by the way they look, they have been well used. Some of them are almost empty and I need to get some more. And also, they were stored in a Ziploc bag and one of them wasn't closed completely, so they're a mess. But they still work, so I'm going to keep using them. Next, you need the alcohol ink stamper and some felt pads. You can buy these already cut out. Again, I will leave all this down in the description box below. I'm pretty sure you can get them all on Amazon and they will be affiliate links, just so you know. So you need the stamper, and some felt pads. You can just cut up felt if you don't wanna buy these. I also forgot to mention this, which is really important. You need the silver mixative, I think it's called. Yeah, mixative in silver. And I'll show you why once we get started. I'll show you why you kinda of need the silver. I'm gonna make four that kind of match, you know, to make a set. So I got four of these stones or gems and they have a flat side and a rounded side. We're going to be stamping on the flat side. So lay them round side down or flat side up. Then you're going to take your felt piece and put it on the stamp pad. Then just pick the ink colors of your choice. I'm gonna mix it up with these reds. So I've got this reddish color. Put some of that on the pad. So this next color I'm choosing is kind of my favorite. It's wild plum. Gonna add a little of this blue in for some contrast. And you don't have to be too precise, just plop it on there. Then the silver. Just put a few dots of silver in there. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little of this green in there too. Trust me, no matter what you pick, it'll be pretty. and then you just stamp. Sorry about the crazy months. Now these are turning out pretty, but I think I'm gonna put a little more of that silver in. When you use the silver, it makes it opaque so that you can see the colors. It's not, there you go, that's really pretty. I tried gold and I didn't think it worked out as well, but if you don't have the silver, what you can do or you can't find it for some reason, once they're completely dry, you can use some of this acrylic paint and paint the backs of them, but I didn't want to do all of that. So I just added the silver and it made a world of difference. So just pounce, 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 that's all you do. Once you're happy with the design, these are very pretty. You just let them dry. It probably takes 10 minutes, but I'd give them a half hour to an hour or overnight if you're going to paint them, I think. Give them a nice long time to dry. And then once they're completely dry, this is one I made earlier. You just stick the magnet on. Now use glue. Don't I don't trust these self-adhesive magnets, but just for now I'm gonna show you. And there you have it. That's all there is to it. So once you have the inks, which come in a pack of three, I think, I'll have a link down below. You can probably get different size packs on Amazon. I just haven't checked. Your stamper and your felt pads. These gems came from the Dollar Tree and your magnets. You can make so many of these so fast and give them away in like sets of four to teachers, bus drivers, your mailman, whoever. Everybody likes refrigerator magnets. Everybody can use refrigerator magnets. And these are beautiful too. So here are the ones I showed you in the beginning. 
And here is one of the magnets I just did for you. They turn out, whoops, <laughs> they turn out so pretty and they are beyond easy to make. If you like videos like this, go ahead and give this one a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell for notifications every time I upload a new video. I do upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but it's also nice to get that little reminder from YouTube. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.